Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are filming in the car, so you guys know what that means. We are doing another thrift with me. We're gonna be doing it at the Goodwill, the next town over from where I live. And I'm really not looking for anything. I'm Why you always lying? I'm not gonna lie though, I am being inspired by some of the things that's going on with spring. I'm really looking for like bigger, bolder prints. I've been watching a ton of runway shows lately and I'm really loving the larger prints. I want flowy skirts um just crop tops anything that i can diy diy and crop um but just you know overall looking because hey you know i'm not traveling i'm not doing much and i'm staying within the area i live so why not thrift y'all ready come on what I don't want and do want. I don't come to this location a lot, but I'm finding a lot of stuff. So y'all keep hanging with me because I'm gonna keep looking at a few more areas.
Hey y'all, I am back. It is a few days later and let's get into this thrift haul slash try on. Now I've washed these clothes. I actually tried on a few things with them. A thing that I wanna call out is when you do thrift, you don't have to thrift an entire outfit. I generally get key pieces that I'm looking for and then once I clean and wash them, I generally start like piecing older things that I have in my wardrobe with the newer items and seeing what I can create and what outfits I wanna wear. So let's get into what we got. The first thing I wanna get into is this skirt. As I mentioned to you guys before, I'm really big on just having like flowy, large print skirts for spring. So I have a few, I have one in particular that I already you know, wear and I've worn it a lot in past pictures, but I really wanted another one. Again, larger prints, um, especially florals, is gonna be big, so that's what I kinda wanted to jump ahead of. Now, what you guys can see, this is going to be like a midi length skirt and when i was in the thrift i realized that this waist was pretty big um i generally don't have to do the around your neck you know they always say if you go like this around your neck you can tell if you can fit it um that does work but if something has elastic in it and i stretch it i have a pretty good idea that i could fit it but I also was aware that this was gonna be a probably a little too big. So as you guys can see in the picture, I started playing with ways to how to wear this skirt. Now, don't be afraid if you do find something that's a little bit larger, it's not a total miss. There are ways, as you can see, I'm playing with gathering it to where once I have it on, I'll just double, double it up. Um, double it up to make it look more like a wrap skirt. And then to secure it in place, I put on a belt and I generally go for like a wider elastic belt. Now I'll tell all you guys when you're in the thrift, you should definitely be capitalizing on all the belts that they have. Always get and have in your wardrobe a large elastic belt, like get it in different colors, get it in all variations because they're lifesavers in situations like this. So with this skirt, I like it because the elastic and I can pull it in as much to where it does not create a muffin top. So I think that is what um, a lot of people go wrong. They're like, oh, I can't wear cross. I can't do it. I have a belly. I have a belly too. But when I find like the smallest part of my waist, I'll put this on, I'll double it up, I'll put the belt on, and now it provides a silhouette that has no spillage. And that is why I love elastic belts. My next find was uh, this green vest. This is a perfect layering piece for the spring because it is sleeveless. And you know, just to show you, I just said you don't have to find whole outfits in the thrift, but you can also find whole outfits in the thrift. As you can see, I partnered it with um, the very skirt that I just had on. It does have that green in it. So I put this on over. So let's say you are someone who is wearing a more like close fitting crop or like a bralette like I had on, but you don't feel comfortable having all of that out. This is a perfect layering piece and you can close it up, you can keep it open. Um, I love all the pockets here. Gives me that whole cargo pocket feel and we do love a good pocket. Um, I can see this for like going over a bodycon, it can go over a skirt, you can do a crop with some jeans with this. Like it's so many possibilities and again, I love layering. Layering can take place all year round. It's just the pieces and the weight and the textures is what I think um, is different for the season and how you do layer. This vest, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like around three or four dollars. I think everything in this haul was under five dollars. So I will say that. And my total was like around thirty dollars. So yeah, I love this vest and I cannot wait to style it. It also has this split in the back. Um, pretty standard, but I just thought it was a cute piece. And while I probably would have went to the store and purchased something like this similar, that is why I always suggest go to the thrift first to start building your wardrobe. Now this next piece is very much, um, it's a trendy piece, but I still think that sweater vests are gonna hold its own throughout spring. I think it's gonna die down and then pick right back up. Um, I do not think the sweater vest trend is gonna go away. I think it is such an excellent, again, layering piece, um, but you can do a lot with it. So I had seen on a lot of, unfortunately, the fast fashion sites where they were selling these oversized um, sweater vests. 
and I think a lot of people felt like, oh, I have to purchase it there to get that oversized look when really all you have to do is go up a bunch of sizes and you can recreate it. So this is a Roundtree in York um, 4X sweater vest. And I just fell in love with this color. I still think because right now where I'm at, it's still like 50 degrees. It drops sometimes to 40, but like 50 degrees, I think it's gonna get warmer, um, probably more towards the end of May. But I love this color and I still feel you can wear this um, right now. As you guys can see how I partnered it up, I did an oversized menswear shirt with some boots and there you go. Like again, I just threw this on. I actually think if you're more like daring, you could actually just do this in itself as a dress and wear like a bandeau under. Um, again, it's not a heavy sweater material, um, but it is definitely enough. Now, let me tell you, this argyle print is still very much around. I don't know how long it's gonna last, I'm not gonna lie, but I've been looking at some of the runway shows for fall, winter, and I am still seeing very much like traditional prints that are being you know shown now i like to check the runways for a reference of what could be happening for the next season but to be honest with you guys i really like this sweater so i really could care less at this point <laughs> if it's still big and fall i'm gonna be wearing it and i'm gonna try and get some wear out of it before it gets too hot but you guys see how i partnered it up um, leave me a comment below how you would wear this again it falls right above the knee so it's definitely definitely in the category for a dress but I can actually see tucking this in with a tennis skirt it's a lot of different things you can do with it so in the comments below let me know how would you style this next is this I don't want to call it vintage because I think a lot of people slap the term vintage on a lot of things without properly doing the research I don't know how old this is I'm looking for a date but I found this it is a Christian Jill uh, tall so I like looking for things, especially if I'm trying to go for an oversized look that will fall longer. I know it's super bright because it's white. You guys can see from the picture. Um, it has this beautiful detailing right here, like this beading and this black kind of, I don't know, like twist design. I love it. And then it has this, I love this flat piece, this extra flap. And as you guys see, I just paired it with a um, all-in-one bodysuit. I joke and say it gives me Peggy Bundy vibes. Y'all remember Married with Children? She used to wear like those one pieces with like big shirts over. And I'm definitely channeling that for this. I really thought this shirt was cute. I think that you can really do a lot for it, with it, I mean. And like wearing it over jeans with a black crop or a black shirt and with some black heels. I just think it's got such cute details. Now, they have the buttons here, but I did notice some buttons were missing. And again, it goes back to checking when you're in the thrift. Um, I did not check, but I did see these buttons. I'm thinking about just cutting these buttons off. I don't think it would hurt or harm it in any way. But look at that detail that carries on through the whole entire look I really really like this shirt and I like the fact that it is a white it's kind of like a cream an eggshell white and I just think it can be partnered with a lot of things but anyway this again everything over here is probably under five dollars but I want to say it's probably like four but I really love this and I see myself doing a lot of things with it so all right let's get to the next piece all right last but not least is this beautiful it's called Cal style made in the US, or no, Cal style USA, extra large. This beautiful, it's like a peach, um, I don't know, it's like a peach color for me. It's very long and flowy, and I'm telling you, I am always here for a long flowy skirt. Now the other one I got is a midi. This is definitely ankle length. Um, it does have rubber in the waist. What I like about it yet again is that it does not create that spillage. It was in the store. Again, I just kind of stretched it out and said, okay, would this fit and would it like be too tight cinching in? And it doesn't. And it's perfect with a crop. I think I did a tube top. And what I like about the tube top, while it fits close up here, it's loose at the bottom. So let's say you did have some spillage, you're not gonna be able to really focus on that because the tube top is loose at the bottom. That's another tip to keep in mind when you're trying to execute a crop top. Um, this has like 
a little bit of a slip piece inside of it. So um, it's just quality. It's not something that's so sheer and cheap. And what I like about it is there's so many ways to kind of play with this. So as you guys can see here, I'm showing you how it's the TikTok hack that I got off of another creator. Um, and by the way, are you following me on TikTok? Make sure you do. And I am one of those people who was not about TikTok. And then when I got on it, I got addicted because it does have a lot of information and cool little things on it. So with this hack right here, you just simply get a string and then you run it through. And I think it's best shown right here to where you can see how to do it. And um, then you, the key to that is once you tie the skirt up, you just kind of fold it under. So you don't see the um, string and you just fold it under and it just fits perfectly and it shows a little leg. This is by far one of my favorite skirt hacks um, besides the belt and making it into a wrap skirt. Um, I think it gives the skirt a whole new life. Um, so not only can, let's say you're not feeling like showing that leg, you can just let it flow. Um, but if you are trying to like, you know, make it a little bit more sexier, you can definitely create that split. And yeah, it just has so many different ways of wearing it. Again, this is an extra large. I um, tried it on when I got home and I just love the fit and I love how flowy it is. Y'all, this was exactly what I was looking for. You remember in the beginning, I said, I'm looking for skirts, flowy. This is it in a nutshell. Um, I think I definitely got two hits with the skirt section and um, just some bonuses with the other piece. All right, y'all, that was my thrift haul. I know it's been a while since I dropped. Life is definitely getting in the way, but I promise I will get more consistent. Um, especially as you know vaccines are rolling out I feel like I'll be able to get out a little bit more so I'm super excited about that and yeah I'm just excited to keep putting out content you know we love the thrift and we're always thrifting and um, I also have a few clients that I'm shopping for so I'm definitely gonna be bringing you guys along for that just so you can see how easy it is to recreate some of the styles that you see and that you're not breaking the bank Make sure you subscribe and yeah, stay tuned for the next one.